And um, I think what we've got to do is to make sure that we keep in touch with the, the third sector and the people uh, who are able to help us out, uh, who, who can help us with the delivery of, in particular, that tier uh, zero uh, support that, that needs to be put in place. And I'll be meeting with the Wales Alliance for Mental Health next week. I'll be very interested to hear how they see things. Um, you, you know, we know what we're hearing. It's really important that we get a view from them in terms of what it really looks like on the ground. Um, so, so that we can make sure that what we're getting is a whole picture. Uh, but the fact is that, that right from the beginning of, of the crisis, mental health was deemed an essential service and that has not gone away. And um, what's important is that people understand that those services are still available. Um, and of course, they have mm. had to adapt. Um, in sometimes innovation has helped hugely uh, to get more people online. People, some people prefer to access mental health support uh, under the cloak of, of, of invisibility, you know, so that they don't have to go to their GP or whatever. Um, but there are others uh, who want that face-to-face -face consultation. And we have to make sure that that, uh, that service is also available at this critical time. 